Hello everyone, Joe G here, Uscreen product manager. I wanna show you the process of working with Uscreen to build apps. To do this, I'm going to use my own internal example account called Painterly Impressions. As you can see, I'm a painter and sometimes I record videos while I'm painting and I'm going to be working with Uscreen for pretend to monetize my videos. Uscreen is building my Amazon TV app for painterly impressions. In this video specifically, I will show you how to set up an Amazon developer account. Before I show you the process of setting up the Amazon developer account, I want to show you that I have the painterly impressions Uscreen storefront already set up. I created my catalog and uploaded videos. And down at the bottom, I've also created my terms of conditions, privacy policy, and contact information. I've also created the subscriptions, in my case, a monthly and yearly membership subscription. Now, this is important because when working with Uscreen, they're going to point clients to the how to submit app requirements Uscreen help documentation. And this help document explains the process of what you need in order to start building apps namely the Uscreen storefront, like you just saw, setting up developer accounts. In this case, of course, we're talking about the Amazon developer account and then how to submit assets and content, et cetera, okay? So like you just saw, I already created my catalog page, terms of service, privacy policy, contact, and subscriptions. And now I'm ready to show the setting up of the Amazon developer account. Setting up the Amazon developer account is multiple steps. And I'm going to summarize it here and then show you what it looks like. First, I need to create a developer account. Then I will enter developer details, sign the agreement, set up payment information, complete tax information. And then finally, I will give Uscreen access to the developer account so that they can build the Amazon app The first step is to create an Amazon developer account. You can do that by following this link here or going to developer.amazon.com. Now it's important to note that an Amazon developer account is different than your normal Amazon shopping account. In this case, we're specifically creating a Amazon developer account. So to do that, I will uh, sign in and here create your Amazon developer account. Enter in your name the email and a password, create Amazon developer account. Okay, I have to solve a puzzle. Okay, and I'm going to verify my email address. Enter in the code that I received in my email address and verify. I will put in my phone number and enter in phone number one time password and create your Amazon account. Great. Now I will enter in my developer details. So it already has my name. I am in the United States. The company name is Painterly Impressions. I will enter in my phone number. It already has my email address, which also I will use as the support email. Oh, same as above. I will enter in my contact details, which looks like my address. And finally, I will read and agree to the Amazon developer account terms and conditions. Great, welcome to the Amazon Developer Portal. Okay, so I just created my Amazon Developer account. I entered in my developer details and agreed to the terms. Now I'm ready to set up my payment information and I need to remember to select yes on monetize and no on display ads. And then I will enter in my tax information. So back here on the Amazon developer portal, I'll go to settings, payments and benefits. 
and I will select yes that I want to monetize and no that it will not display ads. The use screen apps do not display ads. And it looks like now I need to enter in my banking information. And I'm going to do this off screen because that's a lot of personal information. Great. So I just entered my payment information. Your payment information has been recorded in our system. And for security purposes, it is not displayed. Another note is when I entered in my banking information, Amazon did prompt me for my password again. And then I did need to use my phone to provide my one-time password, which is a security feature. So make sure you have your password and your phone handy as you're going through this setup process. Now I'll continue on to the tax identity. Now it looks like I need to enter in some royalty tax information. And for Canada, it looks like there's a special part to complete. And then at the bottom, I need to enter in service tax information. I'll show you what these look like. It looks like each interview prompts you for some tax information. And I'm going to complete these off screen because it's a lot of personal information, but I'll let you know how it goes. Great. So I completed my tax identity information, the royalty tax, the Canadian tax, and the service tax. One note is that even though I don't live in Canada, I still needed to complete the Canadian tax interview. The use screen help documentation here in the Canadian tax interview explains this. And because I may be selling my app in Canada, through the amazon.ca account, I did complete the Canadian tax interview. And this link to the additional information explains that, that as of December 1st, 2021, Amazon is changing its business address and you can learn more here. Great. So now that these are completed, now I'm going to continue on to the last step, which is to give you screen access. So I will come to the dashboard, back up to settings, user permissions. I can see myself here as the administrator. I will add new. I will enter in the use screen OTT email address as an administrator, save. Great, now I can see that Uscreen has an administrator account and this is the account that Uscreen needs in order to actually build the Amazon Fire TV app. Okay, so in summary, we just created an Amazon developer account we entered in the development details, including the payment information and the tax information. And we also gave Uscreen administrator access. Now Uscreen has everything that it needs to create the Amazon Fire TV app. And that's the process of setting up an Amazon developer account.